it's not a brand new technology, but it's new to apply it in this setting. And so I think it's a great thing that we're going to have three different um, plots to be tested, three different acre-sized areas that will have different physical conditions, and that we'll be able to see whether the material is stable under those conditions, and also how the biological uh, environment um, responds, and also how the chemical environment responds. Does the carbon intercept some of the organic pollutants? Basically, we're using dredging equipment to place a thin layer of a sandy gravel material with activated carbon on the bed of the waterway. We're targeting about a six inch thick layer of material, which is a little bit tricky to achieve with this large equipment. Normally we would spread this material by just dispersing it at the water surface as we swing the bucket across. But when we add the activated carbon to the gravelly sand, the activated carbon does not settle out at the same speed or rate through the water column as the sand or the gravel. So segregation of those materials, if we discharge them from the water surface, becomes a real concern. So we had to use a technology that lets us drop the material from right above the bed of the river before we uh, let it get carried away by any of the river currents. A lot of people that have worked on this study, in addition to Ludwig, we've had EPA and ecology as well as tribal and stakeholder representatives that have reviewed the design as well as the monitoring plan. And so it's really is a very exciting time to be out here and actually see construction in the field.